everybody, and welcome back to the screaming intro of Simeon Jimmy's Treehouse Podcast. I'm your host, Simeon Jimmy, joined today by a man who flew across the pond to visit me up in my treehouse today. The one and only Game Squid on YouTube, everyone. That's right. A man who saw Netflix's Squid Game and said, you know what? I'm going to stand my ground. I had this name first. <laughs> I would have to be a complete fucking cut to change it because of this show, Florian Himsel. Well, I tried to buy the copyright for for Game Squid, but I, I, they said it wouldn't work. Okay, because Squid Game already existed. I'm sorry, it was out of my hand. Okay, the the laws are the laws. But you Game know? Squid and Squid Game are completely different titles. What well, was not the according issue? According to copyright law. <laughs> oh. Well, you should have done it years ago. But yeah, I should have, I guess. <laughs> it's too late. If you would have done that, could it be that that show would have a different name to this day? Probably not. I think the Netflix lawyers would probably rape you. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just try to sue them, yeah. <laughs> uh, Florian, I, I, I have a personal problem I'd like to talk about with you today. Maybe you can give me some advice. Oh sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm Please, starting my friend, unburden yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to realize maybe just maybe I have a different sense of humor from the rest of my audience. Um well that would be pretty weird considering that that you're a comedy YouTube channel that, yeah, that I know. people it, subscribe to for comedy. You it's know? really giving possible? me like uh like an identity <laughs> crisis here because <laughs> The last time you and I did a one-on-one -on -one episode of this show, do you remember what we talked about? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot that we're surely going to do more uh, delightful Trump necrophilia content, <laughs> right? No. <laughs> we're not going to do I... more. Florian, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, man-to-man, friend-to-friend. -to -friend, I don't often listen back to my own shows, but the episode we did where we read the Trump erotica in my opinion, is one of the funniest podcasts I've ever recorded in my entire life. And like almost wow. immediately after we recorded it, I listened back to it like two times and it was still fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought both of us were very funny and that the story we read was very funny. I thought it was guaranteed to be everybody's favorite episode of the Treehouse of all time. And it turns out, not only is it the least popular and least viewed episode we've ever done, but nobody, not a single person in the comment section, even acknowledged the Trump part. It's like they stopped Holy listening shit. before we even got to the, that part of the episode. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe more, more people didn't click on that beautiful picture of, of melting Trump, <laughs> melting into yes. himself. With extra and, arms like growing out of his bicep and his torso at the same time. Yeah, AI arts rendition of obese Trump, you know, I, I, I don't know how there could be any any picture more appealing on Earth and people just didn't click on it. It's, I, it, it's I, not I, even I the know. clicks. I, I don't care about the views. I don't do it for the views. I do it for myself because I enjoy doing it. But the fact that nobody even acknowledged that it happened was shocking to me. <laughs> and I, I was hoping it would become a fan favorite segment. And like every couple months, we would you know readjourn to read <laughs> more Trump, Trump erotica. But <laughs> not only did nobody like or dislike it, they act like it didn't even exist. So I, I feel like we just have to abandon it, even though I had so much fun with it. Uh, I mean, I, I was a little uncomfortable at times, but then... Were you? Because I, I thought it was very funny. <laughs> well, at other times I leaned into it and it was fine, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess we it's too bad we, we don't get to, to say that we have the, the most successful Trump erotica podcast on YouTube. Because, oh, we do. It's, it, it's still well, in the top 1% of all podcasts, so I'm <laughs> well, guessing yeah. nobody else has ever done that and been more successful than we were. <laughs> Well, who knows? Nobody would have watched them, so I guess there's no way to find out. Yeah, tragic. Uh, if you if you even enjoyed it a little bit, please let me know in the comments, because right now I'm thinking I might be the only person on Earth who even enjoyed that or thought it was funny. Okay, but well, here's one thing. Maybe, maybe YouTube has gotten so advanced that anything having Trump erotica in it is getting filtered, and anyone talking about it is getting filtered. So, so why don't we talk about something, a, a code word for it? Like, okay, how about orange 
orange juice. Just put orange juice in the in the comments if you because the if orange you saw... the orange man did make some juice in that story. That's true. Exactly. So so if if you enjoyed the Trump erotic and you you feared the YouTube censorship, maybe just put orange juice in the comments. Okay, just type out orange juice, and we'll know we'll know that we all hunger for more Trump juice. Well, Flo- Florian, let me uh, ask you this. <laughs> If you had to guess, after manual review, was the Trump erotica episode approved for monetization on YouTube? Yes or no? <laughs> well, I mean, the way you're leading into it, I guess it was. It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Literal story about necrophilia and all this horrible <laughs> shit. Somebody manually reviewed it, and it's green right now. It is monetized. So maybe we don't have to use the code word. Maybe YouTube, you know, approves. Well, maybe of the content, but not of the comments, you know? They, uh, that's they all true. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of comments, Florian, if, if one of my favorite segments was rejected by the fans, surely they'll enjoy <laughs> this old fan favorite segment where I, I do a, a keyword search through my comment section for the, oh, word, for the word Florian, and I just read all of the comments to Florian, and he gets a chance to respond to them. You know, it's I think it's the comment section versus Florian Himsel. Is that a title people will click on, you think? Um, I, I guess. I don't know. Uh, well, you're the title expert. You told me to put Jerry Gets Cucked on the Rick and Morty video, and somebody commented, <laughs> Wow, it actually worked. I only clicked on this because of the title. <laughs> and he said Florian was right. And I made that beautiful sum there with the plumbers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it still didn't get enough views as well. What a shame. What do you mean? It, if it gets more than 3,000, it's literally in the top 1% of podcasts of all time. <laughs> like, why would we ever complain? We are literally better than 99% of shows. Well, you're, you're very easy to please these days. I know? am very easy to please. I'm, being in the top 1% of anything, I think, is impressive. Well, I mean, while we're talking about your your sense of of, of humor, so you you said that you that you found the the She-Hulk finale funny, but you you said you you didn't find like the recent Rick and Morty episodes funny. So I I really do wonder about your sense of humor. Was there really <laughs> nothing you liked about about those? Like yeah. comedy wise, uh, the dinosaur episode I didn't care for. I think it breaks the canon of Rick being the most intelligent and powerful being in the universe. And then, <laughs> like five seasons in, they decide, no, actually, uh, dinosaurs are not only smarter but like <laughs> a million times more advanced than him. And it just so happens Rick and all the Council of Ricks have never even heard of them before. Okay, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Oh, Fuck that off. was that was the reason why you didn't like it. Yeah, it breaks Damn. canon, and it's not funny. I don't need to hear I, fucking Phoebe from Friends do a voice acting job ever again. I hate her voice. <laughs> I hope Phoebe and her smelly cat get fucking killed in the alleyway next to Central Park. Jesus, man. I hate her. I hate her. Stop. Put, don't put her in BoJack. Don't put her in Rick and Morty. <laughs> what well, was she the Triceratops? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was incredibly hateable, but that was the point. I thought those those smug ass dinosaurs were, were some of the most funny shit ever. I, I don't yeah, know. I bet you did. Well, speaking of smug, <laughs> smug people, Florian, the comment section had some thoughts about you, and now we get to read all the comments about Florian, and you get to respond and defend yourself. Is that fair? Wow, I guess, okay. Okay, uh, should I give any context? Should I say like what video it was posted yeah, on? Or, well, I don't know, because <laughs> no, I think no. it's almost funnier to just read the comment without context, without even saying who wrote it, and then you just respond to that. Without saying, so they're, they're all from E-Rich, is that how it works? You, yeah, you could pretend they're all from E-Rich. That, that motherfucker. Because if I have to say, like, the name of the episode it was posted on over and over again, like, it's going to... What a waste of time. Well, ju- well, just say it if it's relevant, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, ask, comment number one. <laughs> uh, it says, I hate Florian. Wow, thanks. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered up with that one. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, sucks to be that guy, I guess. He's like... I guess it must really suck, you know. You you really just love <laughs> Monkey, but all he does is just hang he out. He never with said me. he loves me. He just said he hates you. Well, he must have clicked on the video for a reason, so he must have been there for someone, you know. Okay, this one is posted by somebody named Number One Ballfrog Florian Fan. <laughs> now I'm starting wow. to think this might be your alt account because he 
He made this account and then immediately spammed like every video you're in with a comment praising you, but they were all posted within like five minutes. So it's not like he even listened to the episode. He just wanted to, you know, give you some dick sucking. <laughs> But he said, if well, he, Florian has a million fans, I am one of them. If Florian has one fan, that fan is me. If Florian has no fans, I am no longer alive. If the world is against Florian, <laughs> I am against the entire world. To my last breath, I will support Florian. You're telling me you uh, didn't post that? I didn't post that, no. <laughs> hmm. Well, well I, would you like I don't to know. Say I, to him? I, I, think, I think he sounds great, you know, but I... And I, I kind of keep the possibility open that, that he'll betray me and he'll turn out to, to spam real bad stuff eventually. How could he betray yeah. you? He says, if you have no fans, he is no longer alive. He would rather be dead than against you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like it, that's something that's something someone might say who, who might want to, to bother me up until he can betray me, you know? <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> okay, here's one that says... I may not flip a burger as hot as Florian's takes, but I bet I make more in tips in a week than all-time ball frog sales. Uh, no, I, I don't think you will, actually. I, I, I think I, I at least outperform the, the, the tips that a service worker will get in a week, <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> How much do you think he makes in tips a week, flipping burgers? First of all, the burger flipper does not get tips. Usually, that goes to the oh, waiter. Shit. So I'm guessing he doesn't make anything in tips flipping the burger. Well, he's just a one-man burger joint, you know? He's, he's, could be. He's doing it all. He's just like that Rip guy from the Rick and Morty episode. So what are the lifetime sales on Ballfrog? Well, I can't tell you that, but they're, oh, fuck off. They're, they're in the thousands. I can tell you how much my fucking book is made if I remember the password to sign into that website. <laughs> well, I mean, there's definitely an NDA on, on Steam, so I'm Really? Sorry. What the yeah. hell? Cucks by law again, I guess. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, I'm sure Gabe Newell is listening to this shit. <laughs> well, you gotta always ask them if you're allowed to disclose it, you know? Hmm. Okay, uh, here's one that says, I understand why Florian is single. Wow, yeah. Just, maybe you should just skip the assholes, you know? <laughs> no, then we wouldn't have anything to read. Wow. But Florian, you're not single. You, you're, you're with a new woman all the time. It's not single. Yeah, you, you know, I, I got my... My, my my favorite sugar baby and I I, I I reached out to the old one again she, she's great but I'm having a hard time finding like a, 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 a reliable third one you know it's, <laughs> it's a tough life out there the dragon has three heads you're saying <laughs> well not yet maybe just two for now hmm uh, calling the ridiculous six the ludicrous seven is probably the funniest thing Florian has ever done well, that is good because I am pure comedy, and even when I misremember something, then it was actually an intentional joke, you know? That's right. <laughs> Florian threatening to submit disaster movie for the fan vote is pretty fitting. An Austrian artist threatening war crimes over petty disputes. Well, I'm. I had enough. Okay, I. I, <laughs> I was always not getting any votes, you know. So I. I had to to choose the nuclear option. It's yeah, and I think choice. disaster art or disaster movie is winning currently. <laughs> it's course. not too late. We have not recorded the review. If you guys want to save <laughs> us, we can still watch Chuck and Larry. I'm only like fifteen percent behind. So I. Everybody, go to the. Uh, Go to the Pixels episode of Visit Kingno, <laughs> click the straw poll, and please vote for anything other than Disaster Movie. We can't Save let Florian us. win! I will, I will impose my will onto this podcast. <laughs> uh, here's one from the My Son Hunter review, which uh, a lot of people, you know, they were not oh. too happy with your takes on that review and how you see. How seen... is that possible? Well, I was because, the only one who was defending it. <laughs> well, because you were exposed as, like, just not knowing a lot of the things you're talking about like you didn't know that the peaceful protests with the you know flaming background was real you know that kind of thing 
<laughs> well, that is still hard to believe, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Welcome to my fucking country. But this guy had to say, uh, Florian saying that dramatizing a person's life inherently makes them more relatable and sympathetic to people is the lowest IQ take I've heard from him so far. Tell that to the actors who played Joffrey in Game of Thrones and Skyler in Breaking Bad, who were hated so much by the audience that they were even getting death threats. Wow, that is that is the lowest IQ thing I've heard all day. That's amazing. <laughs> Why? I, like specifically, if we talk about uh, Breaking Bad, then specifically, Walt uh, Skyler is like the le the least evil person on there, and she's getting all the hate. So yeah, and and also it's like the actress, not even the the real person. Well, okay, but you know, like if anyone would get hate, it might be the actor who played Joe Biden. I don't know. Yeah, but why do you think that? <laughs> You, you were saying that the movie was good for not being cinematic, and you think that if it was cinematic and they dramatized it better, that it would make the bad actions seem more sympathetic. And I, I think I agree with this guy. I don't think that's true. Well, I don't know. I think he would have been like the guy in House of Cards, and even... I mean, I guess I guess it's too bad, and... and that, wow, what's his name? Even Kevin Spacey? Yeah, that's it. If... if it's too bad Kevin Spacey can't find work because I, I think I'd still watch him, you know, even if he's, I don't know, what, a pedophile, I guess. Yeah, I'd still watch Kevin Spacey movies. I know, right? Like, who's canceling these people? I was still engaged. Jesus. Hey, if Gina Caruso oh. can still get a job, you know, why can't those same people go hire Kevin Spacey? He needs the work. <laughs> well, I mean, she didn't get a great job, did she? <laughs> but she did a great job. We can all agree on that. Yeah, she was fairly enjoyable yeah, whatever. in that. <laughs> uh, best guy ever posted a comment. Holy shit. Uh, but it's, it's a fake best guy ever with zero subscribers, but uh, he, he sure does like making fun of Nate in my comment section, and it is pretty funny. Oh, he is, says, is he going to turn out to be a scam and, and trying to get us on his WhatsApp to, to, to sell us Bitcoin? Uh, did that happen to you? I mean, that's usually what happens if there's, like, a serious subscriber fake YouTuber in your comments. Well, this guy's know? mostly just doing a parody to make fun of him. Um, but he yeah, says... Yeah, I guess that's a lot of that. <laughs> uh, say what you will about Florian, but he still joins Jimmy for any podcast or debate and hasn't cucked out. He has his wow. left-wing opinions and still comes on for shows with friends he knows are going to give him shit and disagree with him. You can't say that for Asterios or Digibro or Erich or 90% of the others. Well, Erich is back at least. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. You know what, Florian? You know, despite you being the one who usually disagrees with everybody, you do get a lot of shit and you do still appear on more episodes of Is It Kino than anybody else. Yeah, I, I just love reviewing Kino, you know? How do you st uh, stay so strong in the face of so much adversity and malice? Well, I don't read the comments. It's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, uh, it's mostly from your co-host is what he's saying. Oh, yeah. Well, damn. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I'll, I'll, fi I'll find my revenge one day, you know? Is that your advice for, like, any, you know, nerds out there who, who are getting bullied, maybe, or, like, you know, people getting picked on? That's your advice? Just plan your revenge? You know, you don't... How do you stay <laughs> strong? How do you keep your skin so thick, I think, is the advice we're looking for. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I, I think it's probably... It, it, the, the advice is probably don't do what I do, you know, just just find better friends. You can do better than me, okay? Like, <laughs> you I, don't I have don't to put up I, with what you put up with? Yeah, I, I don't know why I still hang out with these people, you know? It's it's wow. probably a mistake, but, you know, like, if 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 you're if it's your life, like, why would you put up with this? Like, you could do better than these well, people who bully you. Are you, you talking you know? yourself out of doing the show? No, I, I, I do it for the... <laughs> For what? For you don't get paid. For what views? They're on my channel. Well, and they don't even get that many. Just the top one percentile. Yeah, it's not enough, right? <laughs> That's plenty. Uh, the fact that people immediately click off when they hear Florian's name is the funniest thing I've heard on this podcast. <laughs> How do you Wait, feel about that? That a lot of people that, just stop that listening. Said? Was I mean, that said on the podcast? I guess so. Doesn't make any sense. I don't remember that. Yeah, no. I'm just. I didn't. I. Just, it's just a screenshot of a comment. I don't know which episode it was on. <laughs> but how do you feel that some people, once they know you're on an episode, they'll stop watching? You say fuck well, you to those people. 
Yeah, I mean, must be must be quite tragic to be so retarded. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, wow, you, you can't handle me. <laughs> what do you? Even, like, I'm I'm not even that bad. <laughs> yeah, I I tend to agree. I think if if I was gonna do the tier list of co-hosts, I would have you an S tier for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. I like I always enjoy your perspective and your humor. So people who can't you know enjoy what you have to bring i would suspect that they are retarded like they probably do have a low iq sincerely hell yeah let's let's shit on these monkey fans today yeah it's <laughs> like how how pathetic do you have to be in your brain stem that you can't listen to something because you disagree with like what one perspective has to say you really need your your exact <laughs> opinions and everything that you believe in shoveled into your mouth constantly all day like for fuck's sake if if a different perspective or opinion is that insulting to you, then don't just click off the video. Click off of living. Like stop breathing. You are Holy a pathetic shit. human being. You're ra- you, did your parents raise you to be so pathetic? It's actually like crazy. There's there's so many of those people out there who who just get so triggered if they see like anything that's like slightly liberal. Like they, they live in such a, a crazy echo chamber and, and they, they just lose their entire shit when they when they are confronted with anything that's just slightly like non Republican. It's just Yeah, I, I go happens. out of my way to get as many perspectives on things as possible so that I'm not like Florin and I don't end up being shocked <laughs> that CNN aired peaceful protests on with with fucking fires in the background. Like the reason oh, geez, why yeah, I don't get really shocked by that, that stuff one. because Florian like Florian will just b- believe what he believes and only look at the things that you know reinforce his thing. Me, I'll get every perspective possible, and that's why I think I enjoy life more. And I'm not shocked when I see reality in front of me. So yeah, you, maybe branch you out, you guys. You know, expand your mind a little bit. Well, that's how could you say that about me? I, I watch like a lot of crazy right wingers. Okay. Then how did you not know about the peaceful protest thing? That's like the biggest conservative meme of the year. I mean, I, I assume that. I mean, I didn't look look into where the meme came from. I assumed it was just retarded. You know. Oh, well, it was retarded, but it was also true. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess that is impressive. You okay, know, we have might have uh, been right about one thing. That's right. Is Florian really this much of an airhead, or is it just a bit? I honestly can't tell. Wow, thanks for not telling me what that's from, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not an important context at all. <laughs> <laughs> but but the point is, you're not doing a bit. You're you're always being genuine, I think, is what he doesn't understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's too bad. Like, if he, he probably would get that if he saw more, but... Okay, here's some context. This one is from the Hunter Biden review. It's oh, okay. it's almost unreal seeing Flor- someone like Florian who s- seems to never have had his worldview challenged in his entire life. Is that safe to say? Well, that's obviously retarded because oh. I was like a right winger and then I became a liberal. So obviously it, it was challenged then, you know. When were you a right winger? Because <laughs> that means something different. Vi- over in Austria, right wing is a little different from over here. Now, don't you remember when I made that video gloating about how Trump won? No, I don't remember that. Well, it's it's gone now, but it existed, all right? <laughs> so what was the turning point? When did you switch over to being a libtard? Well, like two years ago, I guess. But like, what happened? Why did you have the what? shift? Well, I just looked at more opinions and I thought that the conservatives are just insane, you know? Like and they, when they are you going to do the final to... evolution and realize that people on all sides are insane and that being an independent is the only correct option? Uh, you still a few no, years I, out I, from I, that? I, I think <laughs> you, you've just just because you've gone too far doesn't mean that, that that's the right <laughs> Having way an to open do it. mind and not just choosing one of two parties is too far? I mean, you, you you know how bad climate change is getting, and you're still fine with the party that's that's trying to bring back oil, you know? What? Like if I oil. say I'm independent, how can you possibly say I'm fine with either party? Do you even listen to what you're saying? You think I'm okay with the people who I just said I disagree with? Well, you, I you just said it... I'm independent! Why are you telling me that I'm on one side or the other? <laughs> Why? Do wow. you even think before you speak? Jeez. 
<laughs> you really think I'm conservative when I just said I'm independent and both sides are corrupt and retarded? Really? Well, I mean, if, well, no, that makes perfect sense because if you say that that both sides are the same, then you're fine with 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 them. No, I'm against them the both. I want them both to be torn down, and I want all of their politicians to be murdered in the streets. I don't like I mean, either one. I mean, I don't know how you could possibly think that's the saner option. Uh, because they're all corrupt, horrible people? No, just I because mean, you yeah, put a D or an R next to your name doesn't make you good or bad. You're still a fucking politician. I mean, if you care about climate change, then you'd probably still want to vote for the party that does less of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that seems Go throw some like more soup at Van Gogh to fix the weather, huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like... You, like obviously, if you if you vote liberal, you'll have less climate change. Like, it's pretty clear. <laughs> what in the, the hell policies. are you talking about? It, it's pretty clear in the policies of these parties that that one of them will lead to more climate change. I mean, than Biden the other. has been president for two years, and I don't know if the climate's any better. You really think it works that fast? Nah, that's that's bizarre. Yeah, you think it it works at all? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, it, next comment. I'm something. done. <laughs> I'm coughing and wheezing at Florian without any sense of irony, saying he can't think of a better country to be given billions of dollars than China. <laughs> Is that what I said? I guess no, I said so. That. No, that was for Ukraine, you fuckers. Oh. <laughs> like, like if you if you if you just look at the world and you you look and, and see that it's all a conflict between America and Russia. And there's no no better way to defeat Russia than to just give the Ukraine money right now. It's it's bizarre. Like you you, you guys spent so much money just trying to to slightly whittle them down, but now they're throwing away all of their military shit and they're they're putting it into the Ukraine. And all you have to do is is send them missiles and they'll be wiped out. It's amazing. It's it's like a Black Friday of of being able to 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 buy. Russia's downfall. It's amazing. I mean, just yesterday, Biden signed to send 700 million more dollars in weapons to Ukraine. So, you know, they're doing exactly that. I mean, that is specifically what weapons are for. Like, they are specifically made to oppose Russia. And this is the, the best way of doing it. So, hell yeah. Biden is really good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I the fact that we're sending them weapons instead of cash money, I think is better because... You know, the weapons are already built, you know, they don't need to be collecting dust over here. Might as well go kill some Russian people with them, but, you know, I, I yeah. wish that we dedicated even a fraction of how much support we give foreign countries to just, like, our own people. Like, all the people who just got fucking obliterated in the Florida hurricane, I don't think they're even getting, you know, one one-hundredth of the uh, support that we're giving to, you know, the people who are blackmailing Hunter Biden. I mean, like, they, they definitely use it to rebuild all the stuff that was destroyed. Like, you, yeah, you Not nearly as that. much. She, of course, that's way more expensive than the, than the war in the Ukraine. Hey, I'll say this. In, as an American, you know, one Florida citizen is worth 10 Ukrainians to me. Because it's our country and our money. They can get fucked. I mean, Solve your own fucking problem. Yeah, but it's it's actually a global issue, the, the war in the Ukraine. Not like my problem. Is, well, it, it specifically is everyone's problem. You you specifically see that the the dollar is is skyrocketing because we we see how incredibly relevant what America has been doing has been in in defeating Russia, and it's it, it's really a miracle. I, I don't know how anyone can be negative on it. Well, we're gonna find out if we ever get that trash rats international debate coming up. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, next I, week. Yeah, I can't wait to, to find out what that guy has to say. Yeah, I hope you're preparing, because this guy is, like, actually an educated, you know, Russia fanatic. So he's going to have, like, actual facts and opinions and, and not, like, just his feelings being hurt. So you're going to have a rough time. Wow. <laughs> well, you, you usually don't bring too many, like, actual sources to debates, because you're not going to have time to well, check sources. you don't. Story. No, you don't have time to check sources in a debate. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work out. Yeah, you should just fire from the hip. I mean, like, yeah, I think this is probably true. Like, nobody's gonna slow down the debate to 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 read sources. Well, that's what the comment section is for. They can, you know, they can do the peer-reviewed study and make sure all the <laughs> sources are fact-checked and all that. 
I mean, like, it'll be pretty simple because, like, every time I, I say something, he's, he's just going to say that's Western propaganda. That, that <laughs> didn't come directly from Russia. Hey, you don't know. I, I no, You know what? I bet he won't say Western propaganda one time in the whole episode. Ah, okay. I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. What I bet you one copy of Bullfrog. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Good thing I, I have free copies that I can just <laughs> click on to get them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I guess uh, you'll have to buy someone else one. That's that's a win-win for me. Yeah, I'll buy one for Patchy's wife since she filmed that whole video for us. Hell yeah. Holy shit, Florian has no fucking clue what he's talking about. I hope he chokes on corn pizza with his call girl. Wow, that's, yeah. When's the last time you got pizza with corn on it? God, that was years ago. Jesus. Damn. Did we make fun of you so hard that you'd lost the taste for it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Damn, peer pressure really does work. Yep, nothing more manly than giving into peer pressure. That's what I always say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like something Jerry would say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this one is from Alex Johnson, and he had to say, We've had enough of Florian. Whoa. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, too bad. I guess you'll have to find a different channel to binge then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Florian's on like 80% of the videos over here, so I guess you're fucked. I, I swear that all these these fucking retarded people who, who act like this, they, they they must be politically motivated because there's no way that anyone gets disoffended at movie opinions, you know? Florian just didn't know how corrupt the Democrats are? Here I was thinking he was a troll when really he's just ignorant. <laughs> that is true. You were ignorant about like a lot of the democratic corruption. It's kind of like small brained to assume that just because they're Democrats are going to be like good virtuous people. Well, I didn't. I didn't assume that there was no corruption. I just assumed that that they weren't literally Russian assets like Trump. Yeah, but you so know? but you can admit that people on the Democratic side are corrupt and evil and do bad things yeah, yeah, as much sure. as the conservatives. Well, they're not evil just because they're mm, corrupt. Some of them are. I mean, there's like, <laughs> you know, just like, a lot of the people who went to Epstein's Island were not Republican. You know, that's pretty fucking evil. Well, well, well I mean, that's obviously evil, but like their policies aren't evil, at least. Like, their political work isn't evil. Well, you're going to disagree because on the Breaking Bad podcast, you said that everybody who smokes weed should be thrown in prison for life. <laughs> and Biden wow. just decriminalized marijuana possession. Don't you well, literally think that is evil? Well, no, I, I changed my mind because Biden. Because Biden. So. Yeah. So I hope you're joking because <laughs> I'm getting pissed. <laughs> no, I was obviously a little joking about Good. that part. But Jeez. so now, now you're pro weed just because the Democrats are actually enacting what they promised no, 30 years ago. No, no, look, I hate weed with a passion, but it's fine if you guys don't get locked up. OK, that's Jeez. not what you said on Breaking Bad podcast three weeks ago. Yeah, I was using ghoulish overkill. Come on. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I love Florian despite how much of a libtard he is, just the amount of disbelief he had, especially about the fiery but mostly peaceful protest stuff was hilarious. Yeah, I guess that one's really a shocker, huh? I was wrong about one thing, damn. Yeah, just one, ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's that one that keeps coming up, so that was definitely the one thing I was wrong on. Uh, this one, um, when I was screenshotting these comments at 3 a.m. last night, I, like, broke out into a giggling fit when I saw this one. Uh, oh, and it's geez. not even that funny. <laughs> it says, <laughs> My son Hitler, the true story of Florian Hitzler. <laughs> With 111 upvotes. <laughs> oh, that was it? Damn. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't yeah, even make fun. sense. If it's my son Hitler, and then you say it's the true story of Florian Hitzler, it doesn't it doesn't match. You said his name is Hitler at the beginning, and then there's no Hitler in the in the follow through. <laughs> well, the Hitler is the last name, so it. But clearly, this is the the level of Rick and Morty episode names kind of humor, which of course is <laughs> hilarious. Florian <laughs> Hitzler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only <laughs> if only my, my second name was Adolf, huh? <laughs> hey, maybe in another lifetime it could have been. Yeah. It's actually insane how Florian manages to have an opposite opinion in every single episode. 
Well, I'm sure you love the She-Hulk thing if you didn't, you know? Yeah, it's everybody all, finally all... agreed with you and disagreed with me. Well, I mean, you still said it was awful, so I don't know. You just but it's awful in the good mind. way that I enjoyed. I think maybe some of you just don't want to admit that bad things can also be enjoyable. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't think that definitely works for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I, you I, also said you have not seen The Room, so that's your homework for the week. Go watch The Room and then tell me it was not, like, one of your funniest movies you've ever seen. I, I always cringe at the idea of watching The Room. Ah, oh, jeez, I guess it, I... You shouldn't cringe. <sighs> it's it's like a milestone in filmmaking, like a, a cultural touchstone that everybody can agree is so horrible that it's a masterwork, and it's genuinely very funny. Yeah, you know, I probably should watch it. I, I, I have been putting this off too long, even though I will hate it, you know? Go into it with an open mind. You might relate to Tommy or to the Johnny character. Uh, you know, Denny is a great character. Every character is amazing. At one point, uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil too much, but at one point, like, uh, like a main character's mom says that she has breast cancer and she's going to die, and then they never talk about it again. <laughs> like Stuff like that happens every minute in the movie. Every minute? Holy shit. Literally, like... It, you have to get the opening 20 minutes has three full sex scenes and it's very slow and it's very hard to get through but if you get past those it's it, the movie skyrockets to non-stop hilarity well i do like sex scenes hmm. uh, well then you have to watch the room like i'm serious I, I mean i'll probably hate the rest of it but we'll see i guess <laughs> well yeah let me know next time uh as soon as you watch it text me because i need to hear really you should you should live tweet it while you're watching give your reactions like minute by minute <laughs> what, should we kino it yeah i'll do a kino of the room yeah i guess i guess it'll be florian watches the room for the first time ever <laughs> yeah like that fucking the fat chick on the nostalgia critic channel like oh tomorrow's never seen Oh, like, wow. we really care that some random woman hasn't seen this movie. Oh, man. I give a shit. I mean, I mean it's probably mildly interesting. I don't know. Uh, you're really shocked that, like, a mid-30s white woman hasn't seen every movie ever made? <laughs> I mean, she'll have an interesting opinion on it if it's, like, Will she? That, ev that everyone has been spoiled on. I mean, I, I, I don't think I've, I would ever watch that channel, so maybe <laughs> not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Florian would jump to saving white Ukrainians when there's a hardworking Mexican who should have unfettered a access to the USA. I'm appalled that Jimmy would give a platform to Florian's neo-Nazi views. Wait, what? One Mexican? What is this in reference to? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably wow. about the, the Trash Rats International episode. Yeah, I'm, I actually have a bone to pick about that one. I can't believe that you, you just put that story in and you, you're so like intent on it being funny. But have you actually heard what, what happened with, with that? Shouldn't we save like, the updates for the next Trash Rats? I mean, I don't know. I guess well, not. What's the I update? I don't up. know it. What is it? I mean, it's just that they they looked into what happened to these to these immigrants, and apparently the the right wingers like kind of scammed them and, and brought them there without telling them like what that place is going to be. You know, and, I already and knew actually, that when we read the story. Well, well, how do you find that funny that they were tricked? Like the, the reaction he, he, from the white liberals is funny. People being used as pawns in a chess game isn't necessarily funny, but the fact that these people are hypocrites is what's funny. Yeah, but you, you, you played into the fact that they they used as a as a chess piece that they were used in order to to move you to to spout Republican propaganda. Uh, you know like, how that story has a happy ending. The rich liberals let the immigrants into their homes, and then everybody's happy. But no, they had to turn them away and kick them out. If they would have let them in, would have been a very happy, feel good story. I mean, you you know that wouldn't work. I don't know that. They, yeah, you do. No. Uh, Florian but, but makes they, this they podcast were... hard to listen to. Wow. <laughs> Rusty Cage himself commented on that episode and said, Florian is very confused. You think you know more than Rusty? <laughs> That's a real Rusty Cage. And then oh, Hans yeah. replied and said, Rusty, please test your lemonade stand on Florian. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously very non-impressed with, with Rusty's political opinions. 
What I, opinions sure does Rusty have that you can remember off the top of your head? I mean, I know that he's much further right than you. Okay. In what way? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I remember he, he he said something about trans people, you know? What did he say about trans people? I don't remember that. Well, it was on that one time that he joined us on, on your 24-hour stream. I, I don't know. He, that was years was that ago. I mean, yeah. That's, and he was you drunk. Asked me to, you asked me to remember stuff, Jeez. Yeah, but years ago, like, 99% of America was anti-trans and anti-gay. Like, Obama was anti-gay until his second term. People forget that this shit is only a decade old. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, so you can't really shit on people for having the popular opinion a few years ago. Well, I mean, that was it wasn't that many years ago, but, you know, he, maybe he is... Okay, maybe I was wrong. But, I mean, the fact that he stopped doing that stupid Trash Rats podcast is probably a good sign. Like, I mean, that's just, like, you buying into conservative propaganda and laughing about it, so, yeah. <laughs> no, that's me listening to reactors' conspiracy theories and laughing at those. Well, yeah, that too, but, like... Yeah, heaven forbid we have fun on a podcast. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if it's politically in irresponsible, then I, I, I definitely don't approve of that, you know? Well, then let's step away from politics with the next comment. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear you defend this one, Florian. Ah, oh, jeez. Known Scoundrel says, Florian has a scat fetish. His opinions don't matter. Um, I actually don't have a scat fetish. I, I just think that a scat fetish is... Probably the most funny thing ever. You know, I, <laughs> I, I watched two two girls won't count just for the comedy value. Okay, fair. Yeah, I mean, me and my friends, you know, triflers style. You know, every Wednesday early dismissal from high school, we would go to the basement and watch all those fucked up videos. And you know, surely it did not affect my development as a young man. You know, I think I'm well rounded and respectable. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and secondly, I I certainly disapprove of the, the kink shaming, you know? I Even guess, if well, it's well, literally eating shit, you're like, well, we can't shame them for their, their kink. It's okay to well, eat the shit if it makes your boner hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's no downside to eating shit other than, like, if you get it in your eyes, that'll be a problem. But I, I think eating it should be safe. I mean, because it comes from your digestive system, so it's... Probably yeah, it's the stuff that your body said, this is worthless trash, we need to get it out of here. And you're like, oh, let's put it back in. <laughs> hey, that's actually, like, a lot of animals actually eat their own shit because they, their <laughs> digestive tract isn't good enough to do it the first time. Rabbits are like that. They, they shit out stuff they can't digest, and then the second time they eat it, and that's how they digest it all the way. That's you know? how you justify your scat fetish, is because rabbits do it? No, I mean, I'm saying that's how it's not how it's not the worst thing you could do, you know? Well, hey, speaking of brown people, or brown things, I mean... What? <laughs> speaking of brown things that Florian thinks should be expelled, uh, the next one says, wow. Florian be like, brown people lower the property value. You did say that in that episode. No, I said poor people. You said if all those brown immigrants are in Martha's Vineyard, the property value will go down. I mean, like, they would literally destroy the properties, so yeah. I'm not even going to argue anymore. I just want you to keep elaborating on that idea. Like, w <laughs> like which, part yeah, of the house I, I, which part of the house will the Mexicans destroy oh, first? I, 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 I'm so glad that you asked me to elaborate because, you know, look, look you, you, you shit a lot on landlords, but... What Better than shitting you... in someone's mouth! Slightly. But, you know, <laughs> what happens if you rent a, a, an apartment? Do you have to pay... What's it called in English? Ah, the the, the thing that the, the down payments that, that you don't get back. Security if you break deposit. Something. No. Yes. Isn't Maybe? it? It's not security deposit. Is it? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, so that thing is like a percentage of of the rent. I think it's like two rents or something, right? Okay. So, like, in order to live in in that apartment, you should be. A, you always plan in two rents worth of damages, like for any kind of person, right? So if, if you put in people that can't even afford the rent to begin with, how much how much damage do you expect it to be? Like the None. same amount, but they can't pay it. 
Well, none. You think there's no damage from people living in a park? I think Mexican people are good at gardening. They're good at fixing things. I think they'll make the place better instead of worse. No, everyone breaks shit. That's the whole point. That's why we. That, that's why there is a security deposit. You know, like mm. you, you, you don't just put people in. And you know who breaks the most? Kids. And and what are these? Their families. You, you think this is? You, you really think they're not gonna? It's not so going to be damaged. Which, which neighborhood refugees? should all these violent uh, Mexican children be put in where they won't break everything? Which neighborhood I mean, they, are you okay with getting destroyed? I'm not talking about neighborhoods. I'm, I'm just saying that the, like, the actual real estate will, will obviously take damage from people living in it. If rich people live in it, they, they have to pay for it. That's why they can afford it. So where you know? where should these destructive people go? Where is it okay for the property value to be destroyed and all everything to be, you know, ruined? I mean, it, it's just the property value inside the house. Like, it's so where? Where would you send them? Well, wherever they can afford rent, man. What do you Nowhere. want? Nowhere. Literally, they don't have a penny to their name. They can't afford it anywhere. That's why they came to this country. Well, I mean, they obviously survive. Yeah, like, we should leave them on the streets. There's obviously systems in place that take plate that take care of them. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna have any benefit from from wrecking like a, a holiday village with with it, with it, I am. With, with it benefits refugees. me. It makes me happy. Yeah, you just want to see the world burn. I know. Now I want to see rich great. people suffer yeah, every you, day. You want, yeah, you want everyone to be poor. That's great. No, yeah. I, I want to see the wealthy zero you know, zero 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 one percent of wealthy people A just experience can afford it. Not one percenters. The point zero 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 one percenters. I want to see them just experience what it's like being a normal person once in a while. Oh no, maybe something actually does go wrong. Maybe life isn't always perfect and you're not always hoarding all the wealth. Maybe you have to see a brown person. Wow, you're still back to that, huh? Even That's right. You know that, I'll never that, let that, it go. But like these people who have literally nothing will, will obviously not be able to live without wrecking some things, you know? Hey, here's a comment with 73 upvotes. Since Rusty isn't coming back, Florian now has chosen his duty as being the podcast racist. So I guess you are a good replacement for Rusty. The best. Okay, I'm 15 minutes in. Why is Florian now randomly the conservative one? Is this actually a bit? Let's see. You don't think it's strange that hundreds of people listened to you speak and thought you were being racist and conservative, and then the rest thought you were joking? I mean, you guys just aren't aware of how how, how renting places works. If if you think that that just putting like people who, who don't have an assent to their name into into houses doesn't doesn't break stuff. So every single person on earth who heard what you had to say was wrong, and you were right. Yes. Okay. Florian is the <laughs> epitome of elitist liberal douchebaggery. What an absolute clown! Wow. Yeah. For some I'm reason, these Florian time. solo episodes keep making me laugh out loud. His mom being <laughs> asexual, his ideal being blondes. I'm only 13 minutes in. Florian, I love you. That's I mean, pretty nice. I, yeah, people are like, uh, like obsessed with that part. Like, you realize that people come out as gay after having been married with kids. You know, like it's not that that crazy that. Than, than an asexual woman would have a child, you know? This one says, if only Florian's mom was actually asexual, and that got 18 upvotes. Yeah. So I think he's ho he's wishing you were not born. Yeah, he's offended. <laughs> <laughs> Florian, and then in quotes, shake my head. Why don't people see sex work as real work? It's so derogatory towards women. <laughs> also, Florian, she's the perfect sugar baby. She's cheap. Hey, hey my sugar babies flourish, okay? You guys are, are insane. <laughs> you don't see the hypocrisy between those two statements? Well, I mean, just because she's doing it for a, a reasonable price doesn't mean that, <laughs> that, that it's bad, you know? I mean, a reasonable she... price. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know <laughs> what? <laughs> God Florian is so disgusting, no wonder nobody will buy his game. 
Wow. And that's the last yeah. one. So we're finally done with that segment. Yeah, I wonder what that was in reference to. Jeez. Could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for some Patreon questions? Surely these will not be as harsh as the comment section. These people paid for the privilege. Wow, well, uh, I'm sure they're worse. I've seen Erich in there. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we have Veg who wants to know, does Florian enjoy 2 a.m. fried chicken? I, I, well, no, I, I definitely can't eat late at night, so I'm afraid I usually don't, you know? Uh, my my secret recipe here, you go to the gas station down the street that has the fried chicken, you get the cold stuff because it's cheaper, you know, it's been in the fridge. You bring it home and you put it in the deep fryer for a minute and a half and it's literally better quality than if you bought it at the gas station while it was like in the warmer thing. Just so it's... It's just extra fat. <laughs> no, it, cause you take it, it's like refrigerated chicken, you know, the skin's well, all cold isn't, and wet. Isn't the deep fryer made with fat? Uh, I use um, peanut oil in mine. That's fat. Whatever, it's fucking oil. You deep fry chicken in oil. What I'm saying is it comes well, out fresher oily. and more delicious than even buying it fresh and delicious at the store. And you can get that at 2 a.m. I think it's a great deal. I mean, it's probably already greasy, and then you're adding extra grease to it, so I'm sure, yeah, that does improve it, you know? <laughs> I guess you, you're not a fried chicken uh, aficionado or enjoyer, it sounds like. No, I, I do like fried chicken. It sounds I, like I you're agree. shitting on it. I used to, like, try to get less fat, but now I, I, I eat more of the, the fat that comes with it, so I, I actually agree with you. It's, oh, it's just funny that that your, your way of making it better just involves more fat, you know? I'm making it fresher. Like, it, it's fresh out of the deep fryer. It's, like, the best way to eat fried chicken. I don't want that shit yeah. sitting in a fucking warmer for eight hours. This is disgust disgusting. Uh, Hartsy yeah, wants that, to know, pretty weird. Florian, what's your favorite time period and why is it 1930s and 1945? I feel like we get this question a lot. Oh, you think mm. you think the fans uh, just associate you with Nazis all the time? I, I, I think it's always Hartsy, I don't know. Mm. Well, what is your like, favorite time period in history? I mean, it probably is World War II. It is the most interesting time. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the best villains, okay? I thought you were going to say the modern day because you live in it and it has internet and She-Hulk. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know, I guess. I mean, like, like if we if we talk about when we want to live, then yeah, I guess that's probably the best time because it's it's right before the, the Terminator future where the robots wipe us out. So that's I right. guess we really living it up just before it's too late, before, before Dolly <laughs> Terminators come around to kill us, you know? If the Terminators are designed by Dolly, at least it will be very funny when we die. It, it sure will be. <laughs> Nico Taito wants to know, why won't you love me, Florian? Uh, I, I, I like you moderately, you know? <laughs> you know him? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not going to make love to him? Is that, not yet. Is that, the, is that the guy banned for posting that, that, that stuff where he said he fucked me? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, please don't. <laughs> James the Mutant Dragon wants to know, have you ever had the escorts whisper in your ear about Balfrog's brilliance? Would that make you hard if they like were praising your game mid-coitus? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I haven't yet. I don't know. Maybe I should try it, you know, but the... the, the you're not the that latest... much of a narcissist is what you're saying. Well, the latest one uh, told me that she likes Rick and Morty, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, that made you jizz in your pants? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you, you don't have, like, a narcissism fetish? You don't want them to say how amazing you are at making video games and they love your taste in media? You know, well, like the well, Hobbit I, trilogy is great? I, I definitely don't like that fetish. I feel like that one's really awkward, you know? But Narcissism? I, I don't know. I, I mean, like, like how how Homelander has it. I don't know where yeah. he, where he needs to be praised, even if he knows it's a lie, and he, it still gets him ho horny. That's so weird. What about Homelander's uh, mommy milk fetish? Do you want to drink some breast milk while getting fucked? <laughs> well, maybe if she's pregnant. No. Or I guess I, if she's milking. <laughs> Yeah, just just starve out the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, kid. This is my milk now. <laughs> yeah, Homelander needs it. <laughs> uh, Koopy J Time says, I printed out my manifesto on taxpayer's dime at the library. Is this based? 
Is he gonna shoot up a school? Hmm. My local library, you have to pay like 10 cents per page. So I don't know, what library do you go to that it's free? That's pretty crazy. Hmm. Libraries pretty are very stingy. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't, you don't want to offer free services normally. No. So oh, yeah, well. I guess that is pretty based. I mean, they probably get more book sales that way, I don't know. Or book books. sales? At the library? Have hey, you ever been? Even, how do they even make money? They don't. they don't! They don't make money. It's the fucking government, you know, whatever. Uh -oh. Free shit. <laughs> I mean, they, my taxes go to the library, so that's how they are funded. Oh yeah, I guess that that is what he said. Yeah. Okay, well, I... I guess it's too bad you you stealing Simeon Jimmy's taxes. How could you? No, I I'm pro library. I love the library. I actually used to go all the time. Oh wow. Yeah, I what I wanted to. I I, I guess I shouldn't speak in the past tense because this has not happened yet. But um, after I finish reading A Song of Ice and Fire, I do want to read uh, the Three Body Problem. But I'm not committed enough to spend twenty bucks on the book on Amazon. So I will be checking my library soon to see if they have it. Is that the prequel to The Human Centipede? No, this is like some... It's written by a Chinese guy, so you might like it. It's about like an alien invasion or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's supposed to be some very thoughtful sci-fi. Because like the, the Human Centipede is three bodies stitched together, so that is a three-body problem. Oh, I, I saw it as a three-body solution for the scientist. <laughs> yeah, it worked out yeah, in the end. He enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, Baron what Von Brunk. Uh, what were you going to say? That is, I guess, a very fitting horror movie, you know, where you're forced to have poop in your mouth, you know? It's yeah, fitting for you, fucking scat fetish. Fitting for the scat fetish, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it would be too much at that point. Would they be able to sustain themselves off the poop? No! I mean, the movie's it's... complete bullshit. <laughs> well, it must still have some nutritional value, you know? There's no way you, you get it all out Look, of there. Definitely but, not but the third guy. What if there's diarrhea? That's a real problem. Hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> go watch that South Park episode. Oh, no. Baron Von Brunk, do you mention you created Ballfrog and the Binding of Isaac when filling out your tind Tinder bio to attract fly honeys? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> you should. Maybe I mean, they're a big fan. I mean, definitely not Ballfrog, but I don't know. I feel like... Half the time, the people wouldn't even believe me <laughs> about Isaac. Could you at least put, like, uh, game developer as your career? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I write that I, I, I run a small indie game studio, you know? Do you also say you're a professional podcaster and your movie review podcast is in the top 1% of most listened to podcasts of all time? Because I would probably put that in there. I definitely don't want them to see this podcast. Why not? <laughs> Why? You're being your authentic self. What do you care? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, do you like put on a front? Like, do you have a, a fake personality when you're with these women? No, I I just don't want them to see my online personality. <laughs> it's different from you in real life. Um, I try to be the same person no matter who I'm talking to. Wow. Yeah, if, if they don't like me, then fuck them. I don't need them in my life. I just can't I, I've got like off. I got like at least ten friends. That's pretty good. I've only got so much fucking time. I feel like it's it's probably a thing that they wouldn't want to hear about, the fact that you make podcasts. I mean, I, I guess it's in your case, it's it's like your main thing, but I think games probably beat bot podcasts, you know? Oh yeah, it's definitely more impressive. Any retard can do this. <laughs> well, it's actually not that easy, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's... Took me a while to get halfway decent at podcasting, and, and I still and embarrass it, myself. Many all would the argue time. that we're not good at all. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they're still there, so yeah, you know, they, they're bitching, but they're doing it in our comment section on our video, so we must be doing something right. <laughs> Drive the engagement. Yeah. That's right. Legitimate girth says, "Mumkey, what's your opinion on Hitler?" So, Mumkey, go ahead. <laughs> oh, you know, he's talking to me. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, I'm okay approves of Hitler. Yeah. Uh, what part of Hitler do you think I approve of? The politics? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> having one ball. Oh, yeah, I always forget he only had one ball. That might explain a few things. Yeah, I asked Downey to draw Hitler's one ball, but he never did, you know? If I'm going to be and honest, 
Um, after watching exactly one hour of Hitler, greatest story never told, and then getting bored and not finishing the last five hours, I do wish there was like, um, not necessarily a pro Hitler stance, but somebody who, I feel like it's so easy to say he's the most evil man in history, and maybe he is, you know, what the fuck, I haven't compared every evil man in history, but I would like to see a biopic about Hitler that is neutral and like we actually see every I, I want to see i want to see every aspect of his life <laughs> without the propaganda for real like i want to see the actual most historically accurate version of his life story without the western propaganda in it it doesn't have to be pro hitler i just want to see what actually he was all about I mean, you know? I feel like you, you get a lot of that on the History Channel because they're like always like, oh yeah, and Hitler was was actually really smart, even though he did all these horrible things, you know? Oh yeah, I just like, want like an accurate depiction without all the flair of like, oh, the most horrendous blah blah blah. Like, uh, yeah, I get it, I, mean, I, I mean, agree, I mean, but that, can that, we see it like I, more honestly? I mean, that, I mean, that is. Why well, you think that's not honest? <laughs> I think it's it is just focusing on the bad parts. I want to see like the complete picture of the man. Like I when I made those Elliot Roger videos, it wasn't just to point out the horrible shit he sit, said and did. It was to get the complete picture of who he was as a person, and that's what I would like to see for Hitler. Oh uh, yeah, well, I hope it won't get deleted. <laughs> well, it uh -oh. probably would cuz you're you're not allowed <laughs> yeah. to have any nuance when discussing bad people anymore. <laughs> I mean to some point, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Major D says, what's your opinion on Phil Fish? Uh, I think he's probably pretty cool. You know, I, I, who I, is I really Phil like... Fish? I don't know who that is. Uh, he, he made a little game called Fess. And then and then he was on, on Indie Game, the movie, with, with Edmund. Uh, and, and people somehow didn't like him, I guess. But I guess most people probably still did, you know? Why uh, did and they not he... like him? I, know, I guess they. Some of them must have thought he was pretentious in some way. I thought he was great, though. I, I, I really felt for him in that. But then he he quit game dev, so and that's pretty funny that he he quit game dev to to to, to spite the haters, you know. Hmm. So Phil Fish, he gets uh, two thumbs up from Florian. Yeah, I mean, Fess wasn't really that great, but, you know, I, I, I think he, he made a, a pretty interesting impact. So we should all tweet you know? at Phil Fish, Florian Hemsel <laughs> of, of Ballfrog fame says Fez is not that great. <laughs> yeah, I got like, I, I guess I got pretty far, but then I, I couldn't see like where anything was with, because the retaining the camera in a, in a way that, that removes all perspective made it really confusing. That's hmm. probably just me. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea what you're even talking about. I don't know what Fez is. <laughs> well, it's that game where you rotate the camera and then it's it, it changes the 2D plane that you play on. Oh, so he made a, a Super Paper Mario, basically, and I push the button and then it's a 3D world. <laughs> Well, well, no, you just switch to like the, the a 2D world, for, but from a different angle, and it's really confusing. Oh. Uh, Mochi wants to know, why are Florian's standards for women so high? Uh, well, I don't know. If you if you can half the best of them, I wouldn't you, you know? <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, Notorious Pig wants to know, why weren't you involved in the Binding of Isaac remake? I, I was a little involved, but yeah, I, I should have gotten more involved. That's that was bad. on you? Yep. Uh, Charlie I, says, I, oh, go ahead. I didn't actually think that it would be as successful as it was, so yeah, I probably probably should have asked to, to be a bigger part of it. it. Probably would have been pretty smart, you know? Eh, whatever. You already did it once, you know? How pathetic do you have to be to just do the same thing over and over again? Eh, no, I mean, like, if it works, if it, if people buy it, you know, it's then I, I think it's it's probably the best you can do, you know? If you make a game and nobody buys it, I mean, I guess you still made a game, but, you know... It's definitely better if, if you if you do the stuff that people actually really get passionate about. That's that's definitely a, a really good thing. Yeah, you definitely won't seem like you're one note, you know, at all. It's like, oh, yeah, I just well, do the same exact thing every single year. 
I mean, I could have done other games as well, you know? I, I you did. You made Ballfrog. You, you're making Squid Invaders. Like, at least you're branching out and trying different genres. You're not just fucking rehashing your one <laughs> successful thing over and over again. Well, Squid Invaders will be a little like Isaac. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do I do a lot of variety. I guess I, I guess I'll have to see eventually if, if variety works out or if I really have to just stick to one thing that works. But I guess we'll see. Uh, Charlie says, as a half Kurd, what is your opinion on the classic boys character, Turklander? And they photoshopped Homelander to have the Turkish flag. Uh, I, I think he sounds like a nightmare, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a real problem for the Kurds. Harvey says, yeah. roughly how much did you make from binding I If Isaac? Yeah, I'm not disclosing that, sorry. Oh. Uh, I think it was, what, a, like a couple million? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Florian, a cool Corgi, wants to know, Gardevoir or Lopunny? Uh, Lopunny, I guess. Hmm. You want the one that looks like a humanoid rabbit? I guess, you know, from the scat well, fetish, that makes sense. Well, is the other one not the, the sexy-looking plant? Uh, Gardevoir, I always thought of as, a like, a humanoid. I didn't think she was a plant, but maybe she is. I think she's a plant. I, I need to look this up. She's I'm like sorry. a psychic just... human, but maybe she's supposed to be a plant. I never got that impression, but I am stupid. I mean, she is green. Hmm. Yeah, but she's not a grass type. Psychic fairy. Wow, maybe you're right. I thought yeah. she was a plant. Well, silly me. Wait, but you're, you're choosing original? Lopunny then. Oh, yeah. Like, the original is strange. Ralts. Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir, and there's also Gallade, and I think Gallade is the best of all four. Not sexually, but just as a cool design <laughs> and a cool Pokemon. Hey, here's the evolution. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, which one's the best? Gallade. Uh, oh, yeah, which one she wears pants? Yeah, I guess that but is better. <laughs> Gallade is like the male version. Oh, yeah, I see that now. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. I guess there is sex. <laughs> I like that his arm is just a sword. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's pointing the wrong way. Nobody wields a sword that points backwards. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we have two questions left. Uh, M wants to know, what is Florian's favorite video game that he did not make? So, Ballfrog, out of the question. Damn, that's a hard one. I mean, I probably would have said League of Legends a while ago, but I haven't played it in ages, and I don't know if it if I'd still want to waste a lot of time on it. I guess currently I play a lot of Dorf Romantic, but you should you should just watch my my top 10 videos that I make every year where I where I pick 10 videos that I t 10 games that I really want to uh, encourage people to check out, you know. I thought you were going to say your favorite game of all time is Snakey Bus. <laughs> I mean, that one's good, too, but no, that's actually, no, that's probably not, not even top 100. No, <laughs> but you play it on, that's probably your most streamed game ever, is Snakey Bus. Every time I click on your fucking stream, you're always playing that shit. No, you always tell me to play it. That's what happens. <laughs> and then you do. You just do it. Well, yeah, if someone says it three times, I guess there's no choice. <laughs> At least Asperger, you know, expects somebody to donate 50 cents to choose his next game, but you'll just do it for free. Yeah, I really should monetize more, you know? <laughs> yeah, but then you'll never play Snakey Bus because I'm not donating to watch you play it. <laughs> I guess that'll be the best way of doing it. <laughs> and finally, for some reason, Tombo wants to ask, does Biggs agree to do the Wheel of Cursed Meals to lose weight from puking? Uh, I don't wow. think so. I think... Uh, no, I, I hope he just missed the being in videos and was excited to come back, but I honestly could not tell you why he agreed to do Wheel 5. If I were him, I probably would have said, fuck that shit. Yeah, I, I, I'm really surprised that you keep getting people to do it, you know? Maybe, maybe you should get Heartsy on next time so you can you can endanger a literal child. Yeah, we, we said when Heartsy turns 18, he can come on, but man, he sure is <laughs> taking his fucking time. He's still, like, he's still a junior in high school. I'm not inviting a literal high schooler to my house. So so you would say that you're grooming him for for this game? Uh, grooming applies to, like, a sexual thing. I'm uh, more... Well, well, not originally, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess it does Well, originally now, yeah. it was combing your dog, but now, you know, nobody can take care of their animals anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just disheveled now. <laughs> yeah, once gra- or once Hartsy graduates from high school, he can come eat uh, deer piss with me. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's already warming up. He's made a, a video about about making ramen with with Mountain Dew instead of water. Yeah, and uh, milk and monster. I did watch that video yesterday. Yeah. And he's currently working on a, a very personal documentary about heightism. So if that ever comes out, I will be streaming my reaction to it. That should be fun. Yeah, everyone must check out the hearts, you know. <laughs> we gotta, he, he thinks that he's blacklisted by the algorithm, but I think he just didn't upload for too long. You know? Yeah, that does happen. But anyway, we've gone a little over time. I need to go edit the She-Hulk finale podcast and upload it. So uh, let's do some plugs and say goodbye. Uh, hey, everybody, go check out patreon.com slash monkey if you want to join the exclusive Discord server and support the show. Florian, what do you have going on? Well, everyone check out my YouTube channel, Himsel Games. I'm going to get down to making the new Rick and Morty in like two weeks, I guess. So maybe, maybe later, but I've started working on it again. Man, working on videos should sure take a while, huh? Yeah, it sure Even fucking it does. Like... I've been working on... I- I'm reviewing uh, the Mysterious Men- Mr. Enter's children's novel, and I've been oh, working no. on this video for like two months. Like, oh, no. the amount of time it takes to read through it and, and take notes and write the script and then like fucking record and edit it, this shit has taken forever, but it should almost be done. In fact, by the time this episode goes live... I think I will be done. I'm trying to get it done this weekend. I'm very close. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I really liked your video, but you were homeless. I, I was. Oh, thank you. I'm glad somebody liked that. <laughs> no, you didn't get enough views? Damn. No, it got a shit ton of views, but nobody liked it. <laughs> like, all the comments are saying, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, you tricked us into watching a little mailbag. <laughs> it's not even a trick. Like, it's an accurate title. The character in the video was homeless. I don't need, it's not even clickbait. Yeah, it was actually pretty funny how you used the, the items <laughs> to yeah. try and survive. Yeah, I thought it was more entertaining than just doing it on my couch, but I, I guess people didn't agree. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Which is why uh, when Aggie comes to my house again in two weeks, we're going to go film another episode in the woods with the packages again. So if you didn't like it, get fucked. I guess we're doing it again. I saw your character died at the end. Oh, no. No, he didn't die. He's just exhausted. He was reading through 120 days of Sodom and he just couldn't handle it. Wow. If only he could have watched Joe's apartment as a distraction. True. That would have been great. Yeah, no DVD if player out there. Maybe somebody will send me one. If only he could have invented a DVD player like Rick Sanchez would have. When are you going to send me a package to open on the mailbag? (laughs) God, I I really hate sending mail, but it would also (laughs) be highly expensive, so never. (laughs) Well, you don't have to send it from your house. A lot of people just order something on Amazon and put my P.O. box as the address, and that's how I get it. Wow. I guess I'll, I'll order, like, a ton of really... Really boring food, you know. Maybe I'll. Maybe I should order some Huel for you, you know. <laughs> sure, yeah, whatever works. <laughs> Huel <laughs> Babino. <laughs> well, Huel is that weird paste that that's almost food-like, you know. Uh, if you send it, I'll fucking put it in my mouth. I was eating literal <laughs> leaves off the ground, so. <laughs> I mean, people do eat it to to fuel themselves. It's human fuel, you know. Oh boy. <laughs> it does suck, but it's not the worst. <laughs> Well, hey, maybe next week we will be will be back with Trash Rats International Volume 2. Looking forward to it. And uh, if not, that random guy debating Florian about Russia, maybe we'll get E-Rich on instead. He did say he wanted to go on. Oh, I thought we were going to do both. So I guess that's going to be yeah. I, I, hopefully, which, eventually which we'll we do? do both. But if the guy can't make it for next week, maybe we'll replace him with E-Rich and then get him like next month. Oh, cool. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess we'll replace him last minute. Damn. <laughs> well, I hope I hope Eggy comes through and, and gets that guy for us. You know. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>